All right, folks, this is just a really quick tutorial on how to publish your Libra text. And I'm going to walk you through the steps with one that is actually finished here. Our psychology faculty, Michael Miguel, had this put together and he's allowing me to publish it so that we can have a tutorial for it. So this is the project page and this is what his actual book looks like. So before you actually go to publish, I want you to make sure that it looks exactly the way you want. Um, Michael Miguel, he had student workers choose some AI generated images for each one. Every single section has proper accessibility. Every single one has, we've gone through every single page. We have double checked it for accessibility, which again, the way you do that, you can go to edit. And then you press this little guy right here and it'll go through the editing for you and it'll let you know that. You can also make sure each page setting, you can go through and add tags to every single one, add a license to it. You can add page summaries if you want a page summary for every single one. I recommend at least putting a page summary on the first page here. And once you have accessibility on every single page, you have the images, you have attributions at the bottom of every single page, not just chapter, you are now ready to publish this book. So going back to your project page, this is where everything is, right? This is the link where you would go to find it. You're gonna go to edit properties. And here, this is the title. We're gonna stick with the long title because we call it personal psychology, but everyone else calls it psychology of personal and social adjustment. So we're gonna call it this. And we're gonna change this. It was open and in progress, and we're gonna change it to completed. It is a construction because we constructed it. And we have a project description in here, right? We have put in some different elements. We put in that it's a psychology with the actual C ideas. We put in our organization. We uploaded a thumbnail that will show up as kind of like our title page. And then we put in some source materials. We put in the author's name and then we hit save changes. Now that automatically saves right here. You can see author, author's email. Now we're gonna go to timeline and under construction roadmap, we're gonna hit show and we're gonna go down. Right now we were in accessibility. We're gonna click instead right here, step 11, publish. And we're gonna hit publish text. Are you sure you want to request publishing? This will send a request to the Libra text team and you hit confirm. All right. I found that is all technically you have to do. I have also found just to make sure that they also know who the author is. Sometimes it is also helpful to send them the workbench link in an email. So right here, this is your workbench link. You know it's your workbench link bench link because it says so right here. And you want them to move it from workbench to their bookshelf. So you're gonna make an email and right here you can see to info at libretext.org. I've CC'd our author, Michael Miguel, and I've labeled it, please publish from workbench to bookshelf. I've put, we would like this bookshelf completely moved from workbench to our bookshelf. And then right here, we've got the author, Michael Miguel. I put when we're actually going to use it as well as the URL to the workbench and that's it. And then we hit send and then you wait. And that is how you publish a book in Libretext. Uh, Delmar Larson, he told me that he believes it takes around one to two days. Sometimes if it's the weekend, maybe two to four days. But usually if you do it this way and you've done all the good accessibility work, you're looking at around two days. Now they have sent things back if you haven't done good attributions or the quality isn't great. So just be warned of that and good luck. And you folks can do this. I believe in you.